Hey everybody, this is Pelvis. Welcome to another edition of This Day in Rock and Roll History. Today is February 6th, 2022. We're going to go back to this day, February 6th, starting back in 1958. So sit down, buckle up, and let's get rolling. February 6th, 1958, George Harrison joined the Liverpool group The Quarrymen. Best move that man ever made, I think. February 6, 1960, 27-year-old Jesse Belvin, who scored a 1956 hit with Goodnight My Love, was killed in a car accident. His wife and the driver of the car were also killed. They were trying to make a fast getaway from a concert that they just performed at at the first mixed racial concert in Little Rock, Arkansas. Now, if that ain't a damn shame, I don't know what is. February 6, 1965, the Righteous Brothers started the two-week run at number one on the U.S. singles chart with Phil Spector produced You Lost That Loving Feeling. The song was also number one in the U.K. for the duo. And you know what? That song still has legs. It's still running. February 6, 1967, Pink Floyd were photographed for a British girls magazine, Jackie. The magazine was the best-selling teen magazine in Britain for 10 years. February 6, 1971, Led Zeppelin announced a small UK club tour which would see the group playing universities in small venues. February 6, 1990, Billy Idol suffered serious injuries when he failed to pull up at a stop sign and crashed his Harley Davidson into a car. February 6, 1990, over 200 women filed court actions against Chuck Berry after it was alleged that he had been secretly filming them in the toilets of the restaurant he owned. Come on, Chuck, my ding a -ling. Oh. February 6, 1998, American singer and guitarist Carl Wilson of the Beach Boys died at age 51 after a long battle with lung cancer. Wilson was diagnosed with brain and lung cancer in early 1997. He sang lead vocal for God Only Knows, Good Vibrations, and I Can Hear Music. Wilson also sang backing vocals for Elton John's Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me. All right, that was this day in rock and roll history, February 6th. I hope you enjoyed the show, and it, hey, if you want to make rock and roll history with this old man, Send me your material. I have a show called Screw the News where I spotlight independent musicians and their music, and I'd love to put you on it. I wrap a show around, it looks a hell of a lot like this, and I shoot it out there. I'm on YouTube, I'm on Rumble, I'm on Facebook. I have all kinds of groups on Facebook I send music out to. All right, and I'm also on Odyssey. So send me your stuff, I get it out there. I ain't promise you nothing, but listen, these are people that have never heard you before. That way they get to hear you. All right? So this is Pelvis saying, adios.